Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight. And today we're at a quaint little village, Afinu. And we're going to another workshop, guys. Look out for the previous workshop, pottery. And today we're going to be making halloumi. Yes, the famous halloumi. Here we are, guys. Ah, so we're going to wear protective stuff, aren't we? We're going to wear a hat. Oh, oh, crew's going to put a hat on me. No, not over me, Ed. <laughs> silly, silly crew. And gloves, we need some gloves. Here we are, this is the first bits. The first process. There we are. I think we, need, I think we might need gloves as well. We've got Pinny, it's a bit curly, mask, hat, and we're going to put on some gloves as well. Right, we've got details on the wall about the creamery, and that started off at 1931. Right, so 1931 and we've got uh, the different stages here on the wall but the uh, teacher's going to go through with it us on each and every stage I do presume right so guys the milk has arrived there it is it's been put in this giant sort of stainless steel container and we've covered it up at the moment so stage one is delivery of the milk so the milk's getting heated guys to a temperature of 35 degrees there is a gas heater underneath and that's coming from outside heating up this uh, milk as I said, to 35 degrees. There's quite a lot of people today in the workshop. I think there's a few chefs here today as well. See how the halloumi's made. No. Rennet. That's the rennet. That's right. And that's going to go in there. Okay. Let's go in there. Another one is at all. 15 grams. Oh, is he a chef, this bloke? Oh, you're a chef. I just put you as a chef. So these guys are chefs, guys, and uh, so they've been put to work. They've been put to work, and we're just going to stand here and watch. And he's got to get a bucket of water by the looks of it. So we need two buckets. Oh, we need two buckets, do we? Right, we want two buckets of water just to start. This is the lady that makes it, by the way, this lady here. And she's just preparing this thing here. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a flat funnel. Can you see? It's got sides, and then it's sort of funneling down into this milk churn. All right. I don't know what Chef's doing. Oh, it's a slow tap. So he's pouring the two buckets of water in this uh, sort of uh, washing basket, it looks like. But anyway, it's not a washing basket, I'm sure. Right, and now we've got some... Uh, so we've got a little bit of cheesecloth here, or gauze. There we are. There, see? I don't know what she's going to do now. Just uh, we'll have a look. We'll wait and see. So she's got uh, a bucket, and this is the um, water and stuff left over from the last lot. And she's put some herbs in there and some salt, and an egg, guys, egg, and that will tell us if it's enough salt in there guys can you, 
Can you see that the eggs float? Is that will measure the quantity of, of salt. salt. That's right, guys. That will measure the quantity of salt that we've got in the. Uh, it has to float but not sink. It has to float but not sink. Okay, so we've got that, guys. We've got that. And that's a preservative, isn't it? That's what we're going to put the halloumi in to preserve it. She's checking the milk. Looks like it's curding a bit. You see that? So guys, she's breaking the halloumi or the cheese up or cheese curd and she will only go clockwise guys. So her hand will turn clockwise until she breaks it all up. And only one person can do this. You can't have a multiple hands within the churn. All right, she's just gonna let it settle and then she's gonna bring the cheese to one corner. All right, she's got a strainer and a bowl. Right, it's settled down now. You can, can't see it. It's down below. And she's slowly going to pull it to one side. There we are, it's at 35 degrees and she's slowly pulling it to one side. There we are. She says you've got to love the milk. You've got to be gentle and love it as we pull it to one side. So she could only do this guys once it's reached at least 35 degrees. She cannot do this when it's colder. It's all very important. The whole process is important guys so we've got a volunteer and, and she's just taking out the curd cheese right so they're going to take it all out in one go guys there we are the man on the left is the clip there it is can you see it's all in one look look at that look at the size of that wow you see it right start kneading it guys come on knead knead away come on. there we are we've got the crew doing it as well pushing away seems to be very hot now all the uh milk is running off guys so all the milk guys is running into the churn okay leaving behind the cheese can you see oops looks like our clock is going in uh, everyone's having a go now now we've all got the gloves on so it's quite safe guys and uh teacher is bringing out the last bit I don't know what she's going to do with the last bit. Look, oh, she's down there. Uh, apparently, it smells delish. Yeah. We have to take note, it requires guys. A lot of strength to go does, down. It does require a lot of strength, does it, right, yo? So, we've got uh, a class member and our two chefs are having a go. There still seems to be lots of milk. Right. Looks like they're straining out slightly. Going to strain the milk a little bit. Just strain the milk. There we are. Oh, it's getting really hard, isn't it? It is. It's hot, thick. Dense. Is it like chewing gum now? It is. It is like chewing gum. It's like rubber. 
I was like rubber at the moment, guys. It's like a penetrating rubber. Wow. So there we are, it's starting to feel like rubber. Right, so we've got to leave it flat and square, guys. Just like a cake. It was a cake at the very Yeah, just like a cake. There we are. Right, she's going to close it carefully. There we are. Right, so there we are. I will take the mould away and we've got a flat bit of metal. Oh, look. So we're going to put the flat bit of metal on top. There we are. Oh, guys, they're going to put a weight on it. So they're very, very heavy on top, guys. Right at the centre. There we are. Okay. Right, so there we are guys so we've got the flat bit of metal and then a weight on top and that just seems to be left to settle guys just left to settle there and the lady over there she's just cleaning out the big churn no, the salty water is coming out, eh? Oh, all the water. Well, while it's squeezed, the water comes out. Right, while it's squeezed, the water's coming out. Okay, guys? So, the lady over there, guys, is preparing the big bowl to make an array. That's the second stage, guys. So, the halloumi is nearly ready. Okay, guys? Not quite, but it's nearly ready. <laughs> So while the leftover milk is getting churned, there she is, she's going to make anari. Right, so this lady's mixing up the leftover milk. There it is, she's having a go. And we're in the process of making anari. Now I do believe that's got to be heated up now to 75 degrees, guys. Okay, so going back to the halloumi guys, it's slowly being dried out by the heavy weight. And one of the class members is still busy just doing, doing the anari. Look at the cheese that we get in Greek salad. Yes. Oh, lovely. That's that's feta. That's same with oh, feta. that's feta. It's similar it? to feta and it is without salt. Right, so she's got to turn it clockwise again. I don't know if this is a superstitious thing, guys, but always turn it clockwise. Nice and slow. And make sure you do the middle as well, guys, so it don't clog up. Right, guys, that's our chef said, our uh, student chef. Feta's got salt in it, and there he hasn't. But they do add a tiny bit of salt in it, guys. You won't notice it, but they do put a tiny bit. So, guys, it's a plastic paddle. Can you see? Oh, I've been told off. I've got to keep stirring it. Now, nice and slow. And it's got to be clockwise. I'm not sure why, guys. I think it's more of a superstition thing. She hasn't added the salt yet, or has she? Not sure, but they don't add a lot of salt. It's very little, you won't notice it because, of course, Feta's got salt and no, no re hasn't. Okay, so this is kind of the byproduct of halloumi. You can put it in um, salad, quite nice in salad. And I could feel it on the bottom, it's quite thick on the bottom. So there's a plaque, guys. Heartland of Legends. That's the website you need to go on if you want to come on one of these free workshops. There's quite a few, we've been to the pottery one. There's a basket weaving class you can do. Uh, you can make a traditional separate chair. That's that one. Okay, there's another one over there. And that really is one from the class, I do believe. You can see that it's been carved out there. 
of a tree trunk or some sort of um, branch there and there's another one that's more modern being cut by a machine can you see but the original ones are like that guys so they've uh, carved them out of branches let's have a look around so the aim of these workshops guys is to promote the villages of Cyprus and their traditional crafts and all these workshops are going to be running up to December guys all right if anyone's interested right so we're going to have a seat and wait for the annuary to be ready and we'll come back so guys they've added the citric acid in this particular annuary bunch because most of the milk's cow's milk now traditionally it's made from goat's milk but at this time of the year there's no goat's milk available so they're using majority of cow's milk so they've put citric acid in here if you're using goat's milk you don't have to so there she is she's carving it up it's all right. she's carving it up into blocks and then she's got the cloth there so she's tying it up there we are and there we are that's one she'll do it again so she get a, a square piece of cloth or gauze and uh, she's going to tie it across there we are that's quite tight the first one and the second one's quite loose right, and now she's passing it on and they're putting it in the water do you remember the water guys the two guys filled up the water so this is the two buckets of water they put in this bowl that's all in room temperature there we are someone's having a go at tying up a, a block off it goes in the water guys there we are so he ties it up the first one's nice and tight and the second knot is loose guys oh it's a double knot the second one keeps it from uh, coming out guys there we are so this is the same guys as christmas pudding you'll tie the first one tight and then the second knot is a double knot and that gives you the handle so you can enable to take the alumi over to the water right guys she's now taking the anari out it's reached the temperature and it's floating on the top and she's just taking it out can you see it's got a little bit there and she's putting the rest of it straight on the table guys there we are straight on the table and she's got the mold as well and we're just letting all the excess milk come away there it is so it's the same process as halloumi guys all right let's go over here there we are, there she is, there's the anari. Right, there's the square mould. Yeah. But we're not sure we're going to need it now. Not sure what's going to happen. But, uh, and nevertheless, it's all got to come out. She's just picking it out from the top, guys. We know the anari is ready when it starts to float to the top and then it's virtually ready.
Now the halloum is in the water down there, cooling down. It's got to cool down, guys, before we heat it up again. It saves it falling apart when it's reheated. So that's the halloumi. I'll come to that. We'll come back to that in a minute. Anyway. So now, guys, the lady's taking the way out of the big pot. Can you see? So she's taking that out. And we're going to use that, guys, as I've demonstrated before. We're going to use that for the next batch. There it is. We put the salt and the mint in there and, of course, the egg to measure the amount of salt in there. And that's for the halloumi. Let's not get confused. That's for the halloumi. So she's going to use that for the next batch. She's straining it now to take away the anari. She don't want anari in this lot. Okay. To balance, to center, and move wild. Right, guys, did we get that? So we don't need the anari. We just wrap it up and we put the heavy weight on it and take out the rest of the milk or curd. Oh, so we take out the rest of the whey. So there's the pamphlet, guys. For this particular workshop, making halloumi and anari, we've got the 6th, the 21st, the 28th, and the 31st of August. Okay, guys, and you have to book. Okay, just uh, go on the website and book your class. Right, so this is the first of the anari to come out, guys. It's not been pressed or anything, it goes straight on the table. And apparently it's the best one and you can put honey with it this chap put honey and and he's put cinnamon, cinnamon on there Look, he's got honey and cinnamon oh he's putting honey as well the chef's putting some honey and of course we've got carob juice there we are we've got some carob juice there's a the honey sweeten it up a bit So, now we're taking the halloumi out of the water, it's cooled down, there we are, flop it in, there we are. We've heated the water right up guys, boiling water, and we're slowly putting the halloumi into the pot for the second time okay guys and we're going to be putting it in as it is in the parcels it's baking time now yes we're going to bake it for about an hour and a half i do believe so here we are there's the anari it's finished guys and he's just going to put it in a cool place um, right guys so she's going to chop the anari up into blocks again the left is upside down, so it won't cut there. I have something, I don't know what she doesn't want to cut something from the thing. So the knife is upside down, guys. The serrated edge is at the top. Okay, guys, so she gets a nice smooth cut. Right, we've got this stainless steel metal back out, by the looks of it. And they're taking the little blocks apart and putting a tiny bit of salt on top and bottom, guys. There we are. A little bit of salt on the top and the bottom. So Chef's got uh, a whole load of salt and he's mixed some uh, mint with it by the looks of it. Yeah, he's mi mixed the mint, loads of salt. Not sure what's going to happen next, guys. I think he's going to make the preserve. There we are. I think he's going to make that, guys. Right, guys, they're taking the halloumi parcels out the boiling hot water, so you've got to be careful. Okay, and they're going to 
undo the parcels, they're quite hot, be careful. And they're gonna apply the salt with the mint onto the halloumi. <laughs> so it's quite hot guys. There we are. Oh, really hot. She's just gonna flatten it a little bit. Baby halloumi. It's a baby halloumi. Uh, it is a baby halloumi and uh, there's the salt with the mint. She's going to apply a little bit of salt and mint. Here we are. Bravo. 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 So can you see guys, she just folds it over. <laughs> Looks something like a pie, doesn't it? She, it's, it's kind of round. There's a typical one coming out there. Can you see it's round? These ones are baby ones. And he's putting some salt with the mint. There it is, there's the expert doing it right in the middle. And she just folds it over like that. Can you see? There we are. Folds it over. And off it goes there. So we've cut the halloumi up, guys, for a taster. It's quite hot at the moment. This lady's going to put it in a bit of bread. There we are. So that is fresh halloumi, guys. So that'd be quite soft. And then if you leave it a while, it'll go hard. Okay. So now, guys, it's been left to dry. There it is. And you can always tell, guys, that halloumi has been made in a traditional way, not in a factory, by the shape. Can you see? It looks like a pie. You see what I mean? So once it's all dried up, guys, we'll put it in the way. There it is. Remember? That was the leftovers from the anari and we sieved it out, we took all the anari out of it and then we put some mint and some salt and then egg, a raw egg and we put the raw egg in there and as it floats we know we've got enough salt and that will keep your halloumi fresh once that's all cooled down traditionally guys they put it in uh, a wicker basket lined with glass but nowadays they put it in these big jars look can you see mm. oh guys I've just tried a little bit of fresh halloumi Oh, it really is delish. So guys, we picked up a piece of fresh halloumi and we'll have that later on in the week. And we've got some anari, some fresh anari. And uh, we're going to make a pasta bake with it. It's apparently very nice in pasta bake. So I hope you enjoyed that little workshop, guys don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below